Welcome to the Paygate PayWeb Gravity Forms Payment Plugin Instruction video. You're going to want to head over to GitHub, Paygate, click on the PayWeb Gravity Forms repository and then go to the releases page. Or if you've got a direct link, that's also fine. You're going to then want to download the Gravity Forms 2.2.5 Paygate PayWeb 3 Plugin 2.2.8. Your version may be a little bit newer than this, but at the time of recording, that was the latest. You're going to download that and copy it to a convenient location. I've got it here on my desktop. You're going to want to now extract the zip file. If you've got Windows 10, it should be very easy. If your operating system doesn't have an unzip application, you can search Google and you'll find one very easily. This is going to produce a folder that has three sample images, the instruction PDF and the Paygate plugin. You're going to want to open up the instruction video and here you see automatic installation instructions and manual installation instructions. We're going to focus on the automatic installation instructions as this is the modern workflow. If you prefer to do it manually, you're more than welcome to just read through steps. I think it's three and four here. Otherwise, follow along with the video and everything should be set up correctly. So let's go through the auto install instructions. Perform step one below. This concerns extracting this zip and producing this folder. Then log into your WordPress admin panel. Go to plugins, add new, upload plugin. Click choose file and find gravity forms paygate plugin.zip, which is this file over here in the unzipped folder. Click install now click activate plugin, then perform step four below. So with the automatic instructions, you're gonna to jump to step four. So let's quickly do this auto step. We're gonna head over to our dashboard. We're gonna to go to plugins, add new. We're gonna click upload plugin, choose file. We're going to select gravity forms. Actually, I nearly made a mistake. Good point here. Don't upload your parent zip you're going to need to upload the directory that you've extracted inside this directory you're going to see your three images like we've said your pdf file and the plugin file so this is the zip you need to upload hit that open button click install now then hit the activate plugin button step four says we need to click on forms link a list of forms that you have created will be displayed. Then click on the form you want to integrate with Paygate and under form settings list, click on Paygate. Next to title Paygate feeds, click add new to add a feed and enter required data. So let's quickly do that and then we'll come back to the second part. So here is the forms link. Your forms are gonna be sitting here. I've already created a base form. So we're going to click on that test paygate form there. And here I've added some fields. You can also add fields easily by dragging in fields on from the left hand side. Make sure that you have name, email, address is good. Um, and obviously your product field. If you read here under the form settings list, click paygate. Next to the title paygate feeds, click add new. So we're now going to click hover over settings and click paygate. You can also click settings and then click paygate. And under paygate feeds, you're going to click add new. I've already done this as a sample. You're going to hit edit. And here's a bunch of details. So let me read through here. It says um, add a feed and enter required data. It says that we must select transaction type, product and services and you'll see other settings. On other settings, map paygate fields with form fields. Make sure your form has pricing fields, address fields, and email field. More importantly, make sure you map the paygate country field with the form country field and paygate email field with the form email field. When done, click update settings, save settings. So that's a mouthful, but basically when you hit that add new feed button, you can enter your name. I just called it paygate feed. I've entered the default paygate ID and a merchant key that goes to the test gateway. You can use these same details to test 
when you get your actual details from the Paygate support team, enter those. Here we're going to say use custom confirmation pages. No, if you don't want to use the plugins confirmation pages, you can also just specify pages. If you do specify pages, that's going to have static info. Um, in other words, it's not going to include a whole bunch of your special merge fields like first name and so on, but you've got those options there. For modes, you've got production and test. Test mode will basically do these two fields above here. Um, even if you've entered your details. Production is going to look at what details you've entered under your Paygate ID and merchant key fields. Transaction type must be product and services. That's mentioned in the notes. The payment amount, here you're going to select your form field. You might want to actually select form total. I've just selected test product because that's what I've got set up here. Billing information, here we've selected our all of the details that's mentioned. We've made sure that these form fields within the form itself We've got country set up um, all of these fields are really needed country is important name and email if you don't have those fields it's not going to work um, but the other address fields are also helpful you can change the labels for the continue button and the cancel URL you can enable conditional logic so we're going to say update settings here we've got the paygate feed um, configured now let's go to step five. When a transaction is approved, canceled or failed, the user needs to see a confirmation message based on the transaction status. Follow the below instructions to create three confirmation messages. Click on confirmations and add three new confirmations. So if you're going to not be using custom confirmation pages um, and entering this in here, you're going to want to add this Gravity Forms feature confirmations and this is going to give you some really cool controls so we've got failed cancelled and approved we're going to click on confirmations and add three new confirmations I've done two we're going to add one more so that you can see how this process works and that's going to be for cancelled I'm just going to copy that straight the confirmation naming has to be as per the below in other words you can't decide to call it a fail or cancel or approve it has to be exactly this to work with this plugin. Okay, so failed and approved are set up. The same process for each. We're going to click that add new button. We're going to paste cancelled and um, we're going to just enter whatever message we want here. We can include merge tags if we want. We can include links. I'm going to copy what I did for the failed, which was just, let me just copy this here. Okay. The transaction was cancelled, right. Then we can say save confirmation. Okay, so we've got three confirmations. Failed, approved and cancelled. We can edit them, we can do all kinds of things. What it recommends in step five is to see the three embedded sample images in the root of this folder as an example. So if you look at the example fields, it's basically the same test pair gate field that I that I made for the example. Um, you've got your feed, same kind of deal. And we've got your confirmations. Um, and as you can see, everything is there as well. So let's see what this looks like. You're going to need to create a page and embed your form. I've already done that. Okay, I'm going to say submit. And here we go to the test page redirected and the transaction is correct we've got all of our details and it looks like we've done our job correctly so congratulations you've successfully configured the paygate plugin for your website